Whatever plan you're following, if you're not progressing consistently, you're probably not creating an environment where your body needs to adapt, needs to make that change, needs to grow more muscle. So I'm gonna talk to you about three different ways in which you can progress your plan and build muscle. So make sure you stay tuned. What's going on guys, welcome back to yet another video. If this is your first time here, I'm Adam Scott and this is Adam Scott Fit. So I've been a bit out of routine with making videos, that's purely because I had my NSCA exam, which I passed, and also I've been focusing on my degree and coaching and trying to get content out there as well. Okay, quick survey, are you busy, busy, or just busy? You can follow me at Adam Scott Fit on Instagram because I'm trying to maintain content as much on there as possible but also from now on i will be doing a video every single week those videos are going to be between five and ten minutes and they'll be on very important topics to be, do with building muscle building muscle is my primary focus as a coach helping you guys build the maximum muscle in the minimum amount of time naturally remember that word naturally anyway Let's start this video by defining progressive overload. This is not the dictionary definition. This is what progressive overload is in a nutshell in a simplistic term. So basically, in order to make strength gains, in order to build muscle, in order to increase performance, you need to be creating enough tension in the body. That tension in the body has to be progressively changing more than what the body was, is used to. So an increased demand in tension, basically. Enough stress in order for the muscles to grow. They don't wanna grow, you need to force them to grow. So remember, it's basically a gradual increase of stress upon the body and weightlifting, yes, is a stress. Resistance training is a stress for sure. But we're gonna cover the three main mechanisms behind muscle growth, which are mechanical tension, muscle damage, and metabolic stress. And we're gonna do that now. So the first one, mechanical tension. Mechanical tension is created by using a heavy load and performing an exercise through its full range of motion. So the longer the time spent going through basically creating tension means the more mechanical tension. So in order to maximize mechanical tension, we can't just take a heavy weight, we can't just take a heavy load. What we've got to do is take that heavy load, take it through its full range of motion in a controlled manner, creating that time under tension. So we don't wanna be just blasting out reps like with heavy weights, just using incorrect form, because then you're not taking the muscle through its correct range of motion and you're not maximizing mechanical tension. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame. And through utilizing mechanical tension, we can induce muscle damage and muscle damage is a key component for muscle growth. I'm not saying you're gonna feel like super sore the next day, but you're gonna damage the muscle enough in order to make it grow, basically, to, in order to make it come back stronger, come back bigger. And basically, the main ways we do this is through the concentric contraction and the eccentric contraction. The eccentric contraction, the downward motion, say of a bicep curl, the downward motion of a bench press actually causes more muscle damage. That's why you see a lot of bodybuilders doing negatives in order to force out some extra growth. And also what happens then is you can experience DOMS and sometimes you don't experience DOMS, but the next day you will at least be a bit tender, at least feel like you've worked out the next day. And yeah, what that does is that triggers mTOR, that basically your body's anabolic switch and then triggers protein synthesis in order to help the muscles come back stronger and bigger. Last but definitely not least is metabolic stress. Metabolic stress can be created alongside mechanical tension. So instead of using heavier weights, we're using lighter weights for pretty high reps in order to get that pump. Bodybuilders are using this continuously. That pump's gonna induce cell swelling, gonna bring all the blood to the muscles and force the cell to get larger. So this is known as sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. I discussed this in one of my videos, which is better sarcoplasmic hypertrophy on myofibril. But in the end of the day, you can still get good results utilizing metabolic stress, but you can utilize that in the same routine as you use, utilize mechanical tension 
and also as you utilize muscle damage as well. Where is it? It frightens you. You can actually cause quite a bit of muscle damage with high reps using this method of just basically high reps, short rest periods, and lighter weights. It's a great technique, especially in the period of lockdown to induce growth. You could do it with body weight exercises. You can do it with like, I would say this is more applicable to smaller muscle groups, but you can do like burnout sets or you can do like alternating, say one week you'll do heavier weights and one week you'll do light, lighter weights and focus on different areas. But you can accomplish this in the same uh, say the same routine even so say if you're doing a bench press to start with you're going to go quite low reps on the bench press really focus on mechanical tension focus on eccentric contraction cause enough muscle damage and then go to like a cable fly or like a, some flies and induce more of that metabolic stress with the lower rest periods and the higher reps anyway no studies for you today just thought I'll keep it short and sweet, but the next video, I'm not sh exactly sure what I'm gonna be doing on, but it's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be on nutrition, uh, a nutrition topic in accordance with muscle building. So make sure if you haven't followed me on Instagram, Adam Scott Fit, if you want a personalized coaching and nutrition program for myself, reach out to me. I do customized, I, I do a lot more than just customized training, coaching, nutrition plans, but it's up to you. Whatever you need, email me, adam at adamscottfit.com comment below or dm me on instagram either way get in touch with me that way and if you haven't clicked that subscribe button click that subscribe button if you haven't clicked that thumbs up button click that thumbs up button now and be sure to share this with a friend so like i said expect a video every single week i might surprise you with maybe two videos some weeks but i'm going to really focus on putting out the best possible content so make sure you keep pushing those limits.